Hey, this is Daniel Posny, and this is called Shifting Perspectives. And this is where every Monday morning for about 10 to 20 minutes, um, I talk about a certain topic. And what's come up right now is there's a desire to um, do a seven day juice fast, followed by some more fasting after a little bit of, of a break. But I want to remind you to uh, check out my website, ultimatepotentialcoach.com, and look at the events that are coming up. Um, there's a senior death song event uh, coming up March 25th, and then there's a men's retreat coming up in June and another men's retreat coming up in October, and there's a spiritual retreat coming up this year and also a cancer support retreat. So look at those things and just stay in contact with us. Another place that you can go to is the hummingbirdhouse.org. And that's where my wife and I, Valerie are gonna be putting up events for our property, which we have a medicine wheel and sweat lodge and the creek and a beautiful property for having retreats and workshops. So keep, keep in touch with that and we'll be updating it um, as we get closer to, to defining dates and things. So on to this uh, seven day juice fast. And uh, I'll just kind of share this. Maybe you don't know too much about fasting and what the difference is and that kind of thing. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a cleanse, although I am currently on a parasite cleanse. So um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Marcus, M-A-R-K-U-S. And I'm forgetting his last name that starts with an R. He's an amazing guy with his wife. They're like 60 years old and they look like they're in their 30s. And I bought his uh, three month long parasite cleanse. So it's basically taking six to 10 of these um, organic herbal tabs or not tab, but um, uh, supplements in my diet. And I do that every day that I can remember. And uh, that's supposed to take care of the parasites. And I was thinking that you know, man, I would probably do a lot better if I wasn't eating so much. So um, the, the medicine can do its job a lot better. And that's, that's the preferred way to do it. That's one reason why I'm going into the seven day uh, juice fast. The other reason is um, my wife, Valerie, is getting ready to go um, March 24th down to Costa Rica to do a, a therapeutic water, day, water fast for 21 days. So she'll get down there and for a few days, she'll kind of acclimatize to juicing and eating less. And she did working on uh, something called Ibu, which is um, therapy for your blood. And so she's really been prepping for that. And I don't want to be the guy that's, you know, drinking beers and having hamburgers and tater tots, you know, while she's on this journey. So um, I felt it's been be best to be in solidarity with her and uh, do whatever I can. Still realizing that I'm also holding a work schedule. So I'm really, really conscious of that. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm not using that as an excuse. Like, oh, I'm feeling so sore. I'm feeling so tired. You know, this really isn't working. That's part of the process of releasing toxins and things. Um, but that energy, I know, does come back after actually after a couple of days. So here, here I am on my first day and I just wanna be really honest with everyone about what I'm going through, why I'm doing it. So let me pull up the, the answers that I said, why I'm doing this. I gotta remember, <laughs> uh, I wanna get ownership of my body again. And that's a big thing because you, you think that you want a burger or you want tater tots or you want a beer or something and it's really your emotions that are looking for that. And I can already start to feel that um, for seven days, at least, I won't be able to, oh, I'm gonna go sneak some cookies or I'm gonna go sneak a Snickers bar or something. And that's, I'm gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna have to deal with um, the emotions and the reasons deeply inside of that. And I've already kind of picked up on part of that is uh, wanting to get away with something. <laughs> and I know this goes right back to, you know, childhood and things. Maybe I remember when um, my brother and I and our friend were shoplifting a lot. We would go to this one store almost every day and shoplift. And I, I realized that I think I was kind of hoping that I would get caught because um, my mom was working full time and there was three kids involved. And you know, maybe that was my way of getting attention or something, but 
I really was kind of hoping that something would happen, something would change. Maybe that's that's part of it. I'm not really sure, but I know that looking into that, looking why I'm taking that Snickers bar, why I'm, I'm eating that burg big greasy burger or something, and it feels so good to my brain, but I know it doesn't feel really good to my body. So that's that's where I want to get control in my body again. And don't get me wrong, I feel like I'm doing really good, pretty good for a guy who's getting ready to turn 60. I feel pretty darn good, but there are some things that if left on their own, um, they're going to start affecting me as I get older and older. And uh, I know that I can, I can gain control of that again, because I've done it before. So what's the next reason? uh to walk my talk i was in a i was in a session the other day with this woman and it was really apparent that um she was doing uh, an amount of work on herself and that um she had the story of well i've done this before and um i don't know where else i can go kind of thing <clears throat> what it felt like is that she had gone to a certain level with other therapists and with other counselors, but she hadn't met me before. And I like to kind of go deeper in, into that, more unconventional. And what it really felt like is that she hadn't really gone all in to gone to that place of this deep realization of who she really is. Source. <laughs> so that's a place that she just really kind of didn't go, didn't step into that. So um, that was that was very it was a profound realization in that session. She really had a big aha moment, and she said that completely is true. That's 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 exactly right. And as much as you know, she didn't want to admit it. She was really open to admitting it and being open with it. And I was kind of sitting there going, "Wow, that's that's that was a profound realization." And then I realized that that's kind of me too. Is that there are certain times in my life that. Um, I'll go a certain way, but not quite go all the way. And and it, don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm trying not trying to be the most pristine. Um, well, I'm not trying to be Marcus, the guy who sells the the um, so supplements for uh, parasite cleanse. I like a beer every once in a while. I like to eat not so healthy because it does taste really good. I love lobster or king crab dipped in butter. <laughs> You know, I love all these things, so I'm not good, I'm not trying to be pristine in my life, but there is a balance, and I want to kind of push that edge of being a little bit more pristine in my life and allowing all those those toxins and those emotional connections with food to be let go for a little bit so that I can kind of gain control and find my center again. So my mind likes to take me on this trip of, well, you don't really need it, but a, a, cup of coffee with some chocolate and it would be you know what I mean it just kind of goes off in this way and I find myself not having so much control over my body and I make these excuses or my mind makes these excuses that oh no this is you that wants that that's not really true so it's just having more control over that I'm more centered in uh, what really feels good to me and I know and if you've done this a little bit that you probably know that when you juice and fast, water fast, and you start eating really clean, you really start to, to realize that who you thought you were, who you thought were in control of your body isn't really that, that you start to realize the deeper connection with yourself more, I guess the word is empowerment and more authentic. All right, so the next reason is, um, oh, so the question is, who is it that's resisting this? So I'll get these little resistance of, well, I'll do it tomorrow, or I can't really do it now because I've got all this work or I've got this going on. But um, I have to ask the question, who is it that's giving me these little um, reasons why I shouldn't do this? And again, I think it's me, but it's not really me. It's, it's my mind that likes me <laughs> easier to be controlled, easier to manipulate. Um, that's just kind of how it works. So I wanted to ask that question. Who is the one that's resisting to clear out excess stuff and toxins and waste out of my body? And I know that um, although I, I feel pretty fit, I work out a couple, two, three times a week. Um, I pretty much take care of myself. I do a lot of work around the property. I'm always kind of lugging 40 pound bags of wood pellets or bricks down to the sweat lodge or hauling wood or um, going down the 108 steps. 
that's all natural exercise. And I feel pretty good about myself, especially being the age I am. And there's, there's probably more that I could go into. So um, let me just show you. Forgive me. This is, this is, this is like the before. So this is my body. So there's a little bit here that could kind of shrink right here. And I know I've got stuff on the sides. So yeah, if I suck it in, that's as far as I can go. So this just feels like this, there's, there's some extraness that I can kind of let go of. So I'm going to work on that. And then we'll see uh, where I end up a week from now. So let's see. Uh, also to see what's on the other side. I know there's a there's realization, there's epiphanies, there's clarity. My eyes get really clear. Um, my energy starts to glow. And people usually make some kind of comment about, wow, you're glowing, you're just this bright light. And that is, you know, mostly the effect of this cleansing or fasting, that it clears out this um, this fog. Even now, I can kind of feel the, the fog in my eyes. And I know that's going to that's gonna clear up. Um, my, um, my poop is going to change. My, um, my stomach workings, all that stuff is going to change. It's going to be much clearer. Um, I know that stuff is going to come up for me. Um, desires to have a pizza and a, and a beer and uh, have a bunch of sugar. And I know that that's parasites and, and sugars in my body that are desiring that stuff. So that's stuff I'm going to have to deal with. Um, let's see. Uh, deep in my physical connection with God, creator, and spirit. And that's, that's the other really deep thing that I know that I'm going to benefit from this is um, I sort of touched on this the other day when I was, um, I was at the computer and I was listening to some kind of devotional music. And I just really had a moment of kind of a moment of just clarity and uh, emotion. And I know that when I cleanse or fast, those little moments really come up a lot more. And I find myself really feeling blessed and um, kind of in love with everything. And why wouldn't I want more of that? So you know, it kind of came in in this, uh, this song and it was just really touching me. And when I'm involved in eating uh, some unhealthy foods, uh, drink alcohol, eating sugars, all those things kind of push that stuff down. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that, you know, everyone should stop doing all these things, drinking alcohol, eating sugar. You eat and drink what you want. And I just find that at a certain point, this decision comes over me that goes, huh, maybe less of that for, for as well as, as it makes sense to me. And uh, maybe that'll shift something that, um, something that couldn't have happened without that, that cleanse or that fast. So I'm looking for a deeper connection with that divine self and that divine being and a deeper connection with what we call God and creator and spirit. And that really, this has been talked about for centuries and centuries about the benefits of fasting and cleansing and things. So um, I've got a, um, um, a steam sauna to, to work with, with it, which has ozone therapy in it, uh, something that, that Valerie's been using. Uh, I've got a jacuzzi to go to at the gym. Um, I've got a nice um, space here to work with. Looks like my schedule is pretty, there's only a couple uh, sessions going on during the week. So I found myself in a pretty empty space. So all that is kind of beneficial to that. Um, Valerie's already made up a bunch of juices for us both. Um, so I'm supported by my spouse. All that stuff really helps. So we can all do it on the, on the level that we're supported by, but being careful not to use any excuses of why not to do it, at least a little bit that you can. One thing that we can all do is intermittent fasting and that's, you know, eating, um, not before like 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and then not eating later than say six o'clock at night. And that really helps your, your systems to kind of get into the same mode almost that you would do with a full on fast or a cleanse. 
So I'm still going to be doing the parasite cleanse, um, taking those, those supplements. Um, I'm not going to drink any alcohol or uh, eat any sugars, except for the natural sugars that come from the, the, um, the um, juices. And of course, probably the first day I'm going to drink more uh, carrot juices because those are easier to, to take because they have a little bit more sweetness to them. Um, so every day I'm going to be going through this and uh, I'll maybe I'll put a little comment on the post that I've done on Facebook. And then, of course, next week you'll see me and I'm going to cut my hair tomorrow. So you won't see this anymore. And um, it's just kind of something that I like to do is to cut my hair uh, as there's a new change or shift in my life. Then that's just something that I like doing. It's kind of like um, when I was doing triathlons, I would cut my hair, shave my legs. And it's like a new kind of beginning. It's like a traditional thing to do. So um, here we go. Um, what else can I say? Um, I'll be drinking a lot of water and I'll be putting a little bit of uh, natural uh, Hawaiian sea salt in my water so that my body assimilates that water a little bit better. I'm always gonna have something with me or really close by that I can drink a juice or have something other than going and grab something really unhealthy because that can be sometimes a tendency is you get into this mode, you get stressed out or something and the, the sugar need kicks in and you go for something stupid. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that I have something nearby, at least some kind of liquid that I can just take in and give me some nourishment. And of course, being really cognizant of if I'm doing hikes with people, you know, in a session or I'm doing multiple sessions per day, I really make sure that I take care of myself and that's the most important thing. So uh, that's all I got for right now. And we'll see you next week. And uh, if you're not already um, checking out my posts, check it out on Facebook. And maybe I'll kind of carry that over to, um, what's it called, uh, Instagram. And I'll make some posts every day about what's going on and what comes up for me. So that hopefully you can get kind of the, uh, the more information about how a fast, a fast might go and the, the things that might come up for you. But in the end, it is an awesome thing. And um, the longer that you do it, the more that you clear out. And the idea is that um, if you can do it for 21 days, that does this incredible uh, reset in your system. If you do it for 40 days, it's an amazing shift that you um, that can really kind of there are people that healed cancer and tumors and all kinds of stuff by doing a 40 day fast. That's something that I don't know if my lifestyle can support yet, but this is what I can do. So if you got something really critical going on. Um, fasting has been a real a great um, solution for that. In fact, there's a couple of really good movies on, is it Prime or Netflix? And they're both called Fasting. One is more of a documentary that gives all the insights about what fasting is good for. And then there's another movie called Fasting that's these two um, uh, Kiwis uh, brothers that do this 21 day fast. And I think they do 21 days juice fast and the 21 day uh, water fast, I'm pretty sure. Very interesting to find out you know, what goes on there. So that's all I got. Um, see you next week. Wish me luck. I love you. Thank you and bless you.